Luke 6 verse 45 Luke 6 it talks about the issue of heart Luke 6 uh, each time we are discussing like this I don't know what happened to a time like this would we'll just be flying and we have not started Luke 6 maybe because congregation I, I actually not happy you are allowing me to be the one who open up the scripture we won't, we won't go far like that Luke 6 verse 45 Luke 6 45. He said, A good man out of a, the good treasure of his heart bring forth good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bring forth evil. For out of the abundance of heart, out of the abundance of heart, his mouth speaketh. Out of the abundance. Whatever you see coming out of a man is a product of the overflowing thought of that man. Out of the abundance of heart. What comes out of a man is a product of what he has analyzed, dissected, think about over and over and over and over again. That is why our thought, our heart must be contrived with the word of God. And it is what you hear, you continually expose yourself to that will be part and parcel of you. If you decided to be watching horror film day and night and you are dreaming that uh, one uh, vampire licking blood, sucking blood is chasing you, is a product of what you have occupied your heart with. If you decided to expose yourself to the word of God and the knowledge of in his revelation and word of, of truth, begin to dream and speak life. That is the, that's what will be coming across your heart. That's why it's very important to occupy our quiet moment with the word of God. What songs do we listen to? They all have a stake and impact in what goes around in our heart. Our heart is a battleground. If you can win in your heart, you are on the right path to winning in real life. Guide it jealously. Very important. Our heart must be guided jealously. Let's see Matthew chapter 15 verse 19 to 20. Matthew, Matthew 15, verse 19 to 20. Matthew 15, reading from verse 19 to 20. For out of the heart proceed evil thought, murder, adultery, fornication, thief, false witness, blasphemy. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hand does not defile a man. It's not what you put on, what you do. It is what defiles a man was spelled out in verse 19. And this cannot happen without first being processed, without first being analyzed in our heart. You cannot decide to just want to go 
I commit a murder without first of all thinking it through in your heart. And you don't go into adulteress, into adultery, into fornication without first analyzing it in your heart. It does not happen. It's not a sudden thing. You must have, oh, if I do like this, if I approach like this, if I block her or him like this, this will be the end result. It must have been processed in the heart. Our heart must be guided. Okay. Let's see the secret of the indwelling presence of the God of peace. The secret since we have discovered that our heart is the theater of everything that happens in life. So what are the secret of bringing God's presence into that our heart so that whatsoever thing we do, whatsoever thing we think of will be of good report. How do we bring God into this our heart? He said, allow the six angels, which are the truth, honest, just, pure, lovely, good report, to come into your soul. Give the entire control of your nature up the accents. God abide where the heart is kept free from evil thoughts. That is where God will come into. Where the heart is pure. Where the heart is free of evil report. When we are growing up in the village, I'm a village boy, pardon me. We, there was one compound in where Bev would just come nest if you enter the house, bear will just be flying out. Dove, I no longer see such bells nowadays. I asked my grandmother, why is the bear, they are just pooping everywhere in that man's house. Yes, so he said they can't drive them. Why? He said, you only find bear, such bear, in a house that is peaceful. I don't know, but that was what in their own mentality, that was what they have been able to, maybe through the process of time, study and look at houses where you have quarry here and there. He said, you will not find such a bear in the, where they will gather and summer every day. You will not find such a bear. You will not find God in a heart that is filthy, a heart that is not accommodating, that is not welcoming, that is not peaceful. God will not dwell in such a heart. God will not dwell in such a heart. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. If you are there, help us. Philippians 4 8. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtues and if there be any praise, think on these things. Praise the Lord. In order to experience the God of peace, you must fill your heart, your thought with the word of God. It has to be in your heart. That is when you can experience the God of peace and the presence will come into that heart. The spirit is far from where a heart is not in tune with him. Let's see if Proverbs chapter 
12 verse 19 to 22 proverbs 12 proverbs 12 19 to 22 19 to 22 yes the leap of truth shall be established forever but a lying tongue is but for a moment deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil but to the counselors of peace is joy there shall no evil happen to the just but the wicked shall be filled with mischief lying lips are abomination to the lord but they that deal truly are his delight praise the lord he starts from the heart he starts from the heart without you having the right spirit the spirit of god that searches the heart will never have a place in that heart we are looking at the secret of the indwelling of the presence of god of peace let's see psalm 24 psalm 24 i will read from a different version other than king james psalm 24 verse 3 and 4 verse 3 and 4 i will read from nlt it says who may climb the mountain of the lord who may stand in his holy place only those who hangs and heart are pure who do not worship idols and never tell lies though whose hands and heart are pure those are the one that will stand in his holy place and have that peace of god dwelling in him your heart is much more important to god your heart is much more important the greatest giver the bible recorded was the woman that gave his heart it was not the one that brought the highest but because we serve a god that searched the heart he recognized the woman because he gives her widow's mind. Any man on earth will look at who brought the fattest for a front seat. But a God that searched the heart was the one that was able to recognize it was not who brought the fattest to that was the greatest giver here today. Because he is not looking at the outward. He searched the heart. You must guide your heart jealously in dealing with God. Most of us have ended up doing some sacrifice without receiving result. Because we never put our heart into consecration. Your heart is more important. It's not what you are giving the one that gave the list was who God recognized. If you are looking to be recognized, that woman, if you he are here on earth, will never have been recognized because no man can see it your heart. But God is interested in that heart because that is where he dwells. The secret of peace. Let's see Malachi chapter 2, verse 6. The secret of peace. Malachi 2, verse 6. Malachi 2, verse 6. What did he say? He said, The law of truth was in his mouth, the injustice was not found in his lip. He walked with men in peace and equity. 
and turn many away from iniquity. The law of truth was in his mouth. Recall a while ago, we said, out of the abundance of heart is what the man will speak. If your mouth is going to speak justice, if he's going to speak peace, if he's going to speak truth, your heart must be a heart that is in tune with God. It's amazing how time flies, but our end has come for this topic. The topic once again has been our thought and the God of peace. Our thought, our height is everything. We must guide it jealously. It's time for question. Contribution. It's a Bible study. It's not a preaching, remember? So let's discuss. What is it about this our heart? What is this about our thought that is so important to God that in it comes the issues of life? What have we learned? Contribution? Question? We have our daddies in the heart. Our Sunday school people are in the house. So, no shaking. We will be taken care of.